Right, well, my name is Graham Walker. I'm digital editor at the Star of Sheffield, and it's my absolute great pleasure to be with the champion himself, Harry Joe. Harry, um, has it sunk in yet? I mean, are you still celebrating? Uh, no, I'm not celebrating anymore. Uh, uh, it's great. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it and enjoyed meeting people since the show's finished, and, and you know, and um, just talking to people. You know, people on the street about it, about my experience. And it's been it's been amazing. Well, I mean, dr uh, drummers have naturally got a, a, a rhythm, but I mean, when did you realise that how good you were at dancing that you could actually go on and win? Uh, I never really realised. I just I just worked my hardest and, and just. Um, threw myself into it and tried to embrace it and just enjoy every minute really. But well, I mean you're normally performing with three other guys, so was it a bit of a lonely exercise being on the on the on the it stage? It was strange. It was really strange. It was very frightening being on my own. It's true it's a very different audience to the, the fly audience. I think a lot of the McFly fans were watching strictly and um, and enjoyed it I think. Um, but in terms of performing in an arena as a dancer uh, instead of the drummer, it's going to be it's going to be very different. Um, have you inspired them to actually have a go themselves? I mean, could you see them having a go no, strictly? No, definitely not. <laughs> so they haven't asked for any tips, though. I mean, I won, so there's no way well, they do it. And Dougie went and won that I'm a Celebrity. Yeah. So what about for Tom and Danny? What reality shows could they win? Do you think? Um, I don't think they want to do it now because there's too much pressure for them to win. I think um, we quit whilst we're ahead. Does that mean you and Dougie are giving him a bit of stick? But you, you're yeah, chance. like, you know, the rhythm section have taken over, you know. Until someone else is crowned strictly champion and the celebrity king or queen, we're going we're gonna to rub it in for a good year. On the, on, on the live tour, you're obviously going to be, it's going to be very competitive every night again, isn't it? And everybody's going to want to beat Harry. So, I mean, how do you feel about the pressure of actually going out there and winning every night? I don't think the pressure is going to be as big as it was for the TV show, but you know I think everyone's going to want to win and everyone's going to be doing their best, and I know I'll be doing my best, and that's all I can ask for. And, and um, who knows? We'll see. Is, is this going to be it once you've done the tour? Are, are we going to get this out of your system, or is dance going to be part of I are we going forward now? I don't know because McFly is really my priority, so it depends how much time I have outside of the band and. and uh, what opportunities come about. Well, you'll definitely be pursuing it socially, will you? Just to keep the dancing going? Um, there's no time. You know, I'm, I'm very busy with the band. Well, we, the guys have been writing whilst I was on Strictly, and they're writing at the moment. They're away on a little writing trip, and um, we've just been recording some new songs and, and see what happens, really. It's no pressure. It's not It's not like we're rushing to get music out just because we won the, you know, a couple of shows. We're very much spend time writing it, getting the right songs and sounds and, and production and stuff. And Strictly was the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done in my life. It was really frightening, very scary. It's, it's very rewarding, it's a lot of fun um, and you get to learn to dance, but you also have people voting for you as an individual. And I've never experienced that and I've been in a band and so that's your fear every week that people are going to be connecting with you and voting for you. So I was completely overwhelmed to have won it, to think that people were sat there picking up their phone to vote. So thank you to everyone who voted. I mean, I think when I was doing the programme on television, the one thing I was really hoping was that they'd ask me to do the tour because it meant that I could keep dancing for longer. So I'm thrilled to be doing it and of course to be dancing with Robin again. I think the public probably was a little bit shocked that I am, um, that the age I am now, I was, um, you know, willing to have a go so much. But um, it's something I've always tried to do with you. I, I never really had a formal dance training, so this was just, it was too good an opportunity to miss, really. And it's been amazing. But it's your fault that I'm now being dragged to a dance studio. Because my wife says, come on, we're not all, we, we can get on this, we can do it, Anita can do it, we Yay! can do it. Yeah. And I, I, I think also because, as anybody will tell you, if you do exercise, it releases endorphins, which make you happy. Uh, very good for you. And as you know, I'm a pretty jolly person anyway. So I wasn't prepared for just how, just how wonderfully joyous the whole thing would be for me. After the Strictly tour, I'm going to do a tour of a play called Betty and Joan, which is about Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, in which I play Joan Crawford. I'll, um, I get a week off when I finish this, and then we have about a week's rehearsal, so I'll have two weeks to put that back together. But as I say, I have done it. I'm, I'm, I'm losing the story, yes. But, but, but now you've become a, a, a media star, a celebrity in your own right. I mean, what happens next? What's happening to I don't know, but I'm going straight to 
Broadway and Hollywood. West End, would you like Broadway so and Hollywood. Would you like to do that? Probably. Um, you see, when I was very, uh, I was uh, before. Uh, one thing I wanted to do when I was in my twenties, I've been thinking to become an actress. So, well, I think I should play a part where the, I can do myself. I can play myself. That's why I'm writing. I want to write a script where it's, it's a character like me, so I can play me. But this is uh, this is my job. But uh, probably some dramas, some dramas. Um, film. But I, so it's something that I will consider. What are you looking forward to most on, on the tour and being part of the live show? What I'm looking. What for? are you looking forward to most? Uh, well, I'm looking forward for my new dances. I'm looking forward to dance with to to dance with my new partner, Arthur. So until we have an exciting uh, number to perform, so um, it's be it's be gonna gonna be great fun. So come to see us because it's been great fun.